All right, today I'm going to be playing with uh, some weapons that I don't play very often, though mostly the greatsword, since I think it's a really sick weapon and I really want to make it work. Um, yeah, I'm going to pair it with the gauntlets. Gives me guaranteed crit within six seconds for the next three attacks, which is good with slow weapons. And the greatsword gives you crit damage as well. So if I ever get like um, all weapons swap bonus procs at the same time and stuff like that, then it'll be really good. And then I'll probably also take the shotgun to buff the melee damage of the sword. Um, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, that's probably good. Shotgun swap gives you 20% melee damage for six seconds. This is useless. Useless. This is good. Now that I have zombie. This is useless. And that's useless. So I think, yeah, again, I, there's pretty much no more items, right, that I have to unlock. Pretty sure the remaining ones are the ones I never want. So I'm just not going to unlock them. All right, let's get started. Ooh, Clown's Dice is a very good item. It gives me a random stat, or um, specifically can give me barrier or, go or gold earned, which I think is really, really powerful in certain rooms. Actually, barrier is just always good. Yeah, max difficulty. Here we go. It's a great sword, kind of like hammer, very slow weapon, but good hit stun. Also very good. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say very good uh, verticality to it. Like it hits from below pretty well. Early shop is pretty interesting. We can just check out the items. Oh, I forgot to check the curse. The curse is lose 10 gold when entering a room. I should not have entered the shop then, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Crude dagger. Actually, I really want the suspicious apple box here. It's very strong. If you have good income, what are the erosions we're working with here? We got move speed, crit chance. Whoa. Attack, move speed, 15%. That's crazy. And overload attack speed. Wow, that's a... That was... <laughs> that shotgun's got some insane modifiers. Um, I wouldn't mind just grabbing the dagger here. But I want the apple box first. So unfortunately, we're going to be lo losing some gold here. Sucks, but... Oh. <laughs> trying to kill that before it explodes, but... Couldn't quite do it. further than I expected. I got scared I was going to get hit there. Chest. Secret room. Uh, I hate Shock Absorber. I think I think it's an absolutely terrible item, but I can just drop it, so I'll take it. It reduces damage taken, but then you take uh, 50 true damage after you take 50 stacks. So every, every, every point of damage is one stack post reduction. And you take 50 true damage after this is insane wow 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 this is absolute jackpot <laughs> everything's good here move speed attack speed everything five percent uh scaling crit damage which is really good and then flat damage which is really good with the uh gauntlets i, I guess this is mostly useful for the gauntlets i'm gonna start with omni stone and bloody knuckle come back later actually i can just grab this now What's the... Is there an HP recovery buff? No. I'll just grab it now then. Oops. Didn't quite go off there in time. That's okay. Alright. 
I'm go ahead and grab the last item here. Cat paws. I'm losing a lot of gold here from going back and forth, but... Oops, that would kill. Oh, whoops. Gotta kill the freaking shaman. Alright, one more room probably, and then we can head out to the shop. Lost a lot of gold already, but... Whoops. Not too bad. I grabbed all the items, right? Yes. Okay. So we should be in a good spot. Unfortunately, the teleporter is not in front of the shop, so I have to go kind of around. Reheal. That's actually not too bad. And then weapon swap recharges SP is pretty decent. That crit chance is fine, but I'd rather have this, the sheath here. Now, I do want to drop this shock absorber eventually, but I guess I'll just drop it after the boss room. It's the obvious way to do it. Pretty annoying phase here. Yeah, no range weapon is a problem for this phase, but it's fine. No problem. Shock absorber. See ya. Pretty good stage one. Ooh, gear of combat is very, very good. Gives up to 30% attack. Moth Caterpillar is useless. Hopefully this is good. Uh, yeah, it is, but... Eh, Undying is annoying, but... I'll take it. Nope. Move speed, nope. Max HP, max HP is... Okay. Move speed, gem recharge. Max HP, SP damage. That's better than this. Absolutely not. It's a good synergy with the thing I just dropped, though, the Shock Absorber. Whatever. The, the other item, the green item that I didn't take is uh, re reduced damage from floor attacks. Or ground moves, I forgot what it's called exactly, but... Okay, this curse is annoying. You lose 1% HP for entering rooms, so, so far both the curses were really annoying. Lose gold and lose uh, HP. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> I jumped at the wrong time there. Unfortunate. Gonna have to make sure I start scanning for secret rooms more because I keep missing them. Gonna pay more attention to that if possible. Ooh, I'm dying. Ooh, I gotta remember that because that's gonna be sketchy. secret rooms here yeah I can't miss it because I will not be able to kind of actually I might be able to one percent's not that bad stuck there
Oh, that was going to attack anyways. Yep. No secrets here. Oh, I should have teleported. Ah, oh, damn it. Forgot about the HP loss for a second. Ooh, that undying. <laughs> I was not playing around that, unfortunately. No way. Literal 1 HP. Oh, shit. It, I, it's so hard. My brain just cannot like play around that. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to me that enemies just can attack after death. Oh, whoops. Actually, I don't like that SP attack. I feel like it's hard to control. I don't even know when I'm going to use the Greatsword, because I feel like I'm just doing shotgun gauntlets here. It's kind of hard to find a spot to justify it, because the SP attack is worse than the shotgun. That's the problem. Damn it. I parried wrong direction. There's the shop. I'm kind of same situation. I don't really want to enter the shop yet. Because of the punishment. Ugh, I wanted to drop down faster than that. That's unfortunate. Oh, the undying. I okay, gotta let zombie do its thing here. Ah, very sketchy. Don't see any secret rooms. Yeah, that that HP punishment is very annoying. What the? Oh, those are the spikes. Oof. Damn, it's so scary. Oh, I actually, it's hard to predict that punch because sometimes it predicts your movement and it hits, it turns around. Okay, Mushroom is very good. Um, I kind of got to think about it a bit, though. Because, like, do I use the... Okay, Corpse Bat is pretty good. Do I use the Apple? I think so. Or do I sell it? Or do I recycle it? See, the thing is, I don't know. Let me just... Um, I guess I have to check the shop here before I make a decision. So I'm going to lose some more HP, but it shouldn't be a big problem. Solar beam. Emergency IV is pretty decent. What's my free item? Barrier? Okay. I'll take the IV. I, I don't know. Solar beam on parry. Okay, I mean, if it was a just a one-to-one -one recycling machine, I would... Probably consider it, but I guess I'll get Solar Beam. Oh yeah, I forgot rolling is beneficial, but I don't have the money. I get a free item every roll. Wait, we did, we didn't find the secret. Are you kidding me? I was actually looking out for secret rooms and I did not see it. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's why I was like, what? Where could it be? It could, like that. My mind could only go th there, basically. That it was in the shop. Sure, that's actually insane. 30% chance to give me an extra charge on the shroom. Oh, we have money to roll, but eh. 
Okay, we're losing a lot of HP. But we've, got, we've got some barrier, we've got some regen. We've got like good def defenses. When I reach 20% or below, uh, my zombie restores three instead of two. Oh wait, that's it. I thought I had more. <laughs> oh yeah, it was an item I unlocked, not uh, anything else. Okay, I will eat the apple probably or destroy it. Honestly, I should destroy it. There's no way I, I could lose my revive actually. I played if I play horribly, I could lose my revive. But I think the money is worth more. And losing one revive might not be the end of the world. Ah, this phase is so annoying. Ah, terrible phase there. Oh, I saw that too. I was trying to get that. Man. Okay. Well, I didn't technically take any damage, so. What am I dropping? Ooh, this is. I guess this is definitely a little bit sketchy. I should have rolled the shop. Yeah, I made a mistake. Definitely not dropping. Definitely not dropping. Could drop. Actually, I could drop this. It's only good with the gauntlets, and that's about it. I'm not dropping this. I I could drop this, actually. Yeah, I could I could drop the bat. It's not that helpful. The rest is probably I guess I could drop the solar beam. I don't think it's that. Like it's kinda good, but it's also not very good against bosses. So yeah, I'll drop that. <laughs> coin now every time i see the coin my runs just have no statues so i don't know if that, i don't think that's worth drops two totems is fine let me just check here oh this is not bad but only with gauntlets this is really good but i actually open wound is a very very annoying curse huh i could definitely die to this the buff is really strong, though. Oof. Fine, I'll take it. it. It is worth it, I think. Now, extra damage from traps is fine. But, I, but to be honest, I take a lot of damage from spikes usually in the final fight. But I'll still take it because I value the two totems here. That's a good one. And Hatchling is pretty good. Uh, coin is... I'll take it, but if it fails me one more time, I'm never taking it again. Restore HP is okay. I'm kind of chilling with... Eh, am I chilling with this? 20 max HP and 20 SP damage is pretty good. I feel like that's just fine. I could definitely keep that. Maybe just keep everything. I might roll this later when we're in a better spot. I don't know. I, no, I should roll the killing enemy restores HP. It's not like a crit chance. It's good, but it's not like it's not something I'm super excited about. SP damage crit chance, honestly, fine. Wait. Is that double on dying enemies? Oh no. It's the mutation, so they don't have hits done. Pretty annoying stuff.
Oh, the undying on that is annoying. At least I don't lose life from moving different zones now, different rooms, I mean. That's gonna be pretty key. not useful. I'm, I'm trying to figure out like how to use this SP attack. It's so it's so hard to predict where it's gonna land because I'm not used to it. Gotta remember to use the axe totem. I'm, I'm not used to having one so... It is pretty good there. As long as I can figure out how far the distance is that the leap carries you, should be like kind of okay to use it. Oh shit! Did not jump high enough there. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Whoa, that teleport. I actually can't predict that teleport. I can kind of see the tell, but I don't react to it very well. At all. Alright, check out some free stuff here. Oh, we got the shroom again. Reforge. So let's let's try reforging the greatsword again. You can charge your attack to strike harder. I like Earthquake, but I think I need to test other stuff. Yeah, I really feel like Earthquake is super good. But I'm going to try the charge. Three Hypercore, not good. So Black Dice, I think is fine, but we already have a totem. Longsword would give me the Pawn upgrade, so yeah, might as well. Wait, no. No Pawn set? Wait, where's my bat? Oh, the bat is not a pawn. Wait, I thought it was. Damn, I keep low rolling the... Actually, that's not a super low roll. That's kind of fine. Tiny pawn? I'll go tiny pawn and feed for friends, I guess. Ooh. Permanently increased max HP. This is gain 10 max HP and then fully restore. Eh. I mean, I'll take it. It's free. It's literally free, so. Probably grab this now. I have zombie. I should proc. I need more money. So, yeah, I'll check out the charge here. Is this still the leap? Oh, it's still a leap. Ah, I don't like that. It's kind of hard to predict still for me, so I'm not I'm not sure I'm going to be able to use the charge very well. What about the normal? Yeah, it's so, that's so hard for me. I, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to use this very well. Wait, what? I thought I was holding the direction. I mean, I guess I could use it there. Oh shit! Oh shit! That's the stun! The stun duration screwed me there. It's fine. Probably won't need both revives, but maybe for the true final boss. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I knew. See, I tell, I'm telling you, this is one of the worst curses. If you just take damage one time, you're going to be hit stunned forever. And you're probably going to lose some stuff really. Okay, wait, what is this? Donate 100? For every 400 drops an item? Eh. I want money. And we've got max HP scaling as well, so we should be fine.
Whoa, oh, I'm dying, damn it. I need the other guy to come through here. That does good damage, wow. Whoa, could not space that well enough. Damn. Things are falling apart a little bit. <laughs> Didn't space that well, I'm so bad. It's stuck in like weird positions. Oh my god, I almost, I almost didn't make it again. Like, the micro-spacing is hard for me. Rotten meat's good. If I get the food set, I think we would be in a really good spot, but I don't think we're close to that. No, we're not. Let me go get another item here. Let my HP go back up. Get some shop items. Do I even want to buy this? That's a good question, right? Hmm. Kind of part of me wants to roll, but... Wait, actually, I don't even have money. What am I talking about? I can't buy it. I mean, I could buy it after killing the boss if I felt like doing that. Definitely a possibility. Yeah, coin's still at zero. I'm telling you, like, the, the coin feels like a dead buy to me every time. I don't know if I'm going to buy the feed. I don't think the pawns are that good. Not sure. Damn it. Here's the hit stun as well. Yep. Why am I even bothering? <laughs> I just threw the entire run, I think, by trying to do that. Like, that's what happens when I force myself to use weapons that I'm not comfortable with. Fine. Who needs revives, am I right? I just threw like a perfectly good run to like the great sword essentially. <laughs> what a shame. I got to test some stuff out. Damn it. Oops. Oh, dragon go! Okay, maybe dragon is busted, actually. But it's only good on immovable targets. I don't know if I want to buy the pawn thing. It won't help me against boss 4. Actually, it might, but... I feel like it's a, it's a waste. I kind of want to roll shop. Alright, honestly, fuck the coin. That shit is useless. It's so crazy. I cannot find a single statue in my runs when I when I get this every time. Actually, now corpse bat is looking bad too. I might. I don't think I like corpse bat at all. Actually, let me get rid of that. I think it does count towards pawns, but I mean, what four percent extra gold? You got to be kidding me. There's no shot. It's worth it, right? No, no, no. There's no shot. It's too late. Like I, I never get value out of that thing. I still don't know what this does, somehow. For some reason, I still don't know what that does. More money. Statues reduce your max HP. Alright, sure. 
money damages enemies as well. Overlord, overload duration. No, it's terrible actually. Crit chance attack. Wait, what's our crit chance? 50. I mean, definitely rolling that attack. Nope, absolutely not. Nope. Uh, sure, I guess. Oh no, that's a really bad one. Additional three damage per hit. Oh, double damage from traps. <laughs> awesome. Oh shit, just hit from a bomb there. Damn. What the hell am I doing? Oof. I'm dying. Yeah, the charge is useless, I think, on the Great Sword. I think it's fading me into really bad spots. Kind of like the the charge on the Sniper. But at least the charge on the Sniper has a lot of range to it. Oh, Slot Machine is uh, actually amazing. So yeah, the charge on the Great Sword, it doesn't hit like in a line, right? So it's kind of hard to time. It's useless against bosses, so. Uh, this lowers my max HP by five. I might take it later. Yeah, the corpse bat are actually not not too bad. Oops. Not spaced that very well. Well, it actually predicted I was gonna drop. Well, shop. Voodoo doll's good. Uh, this is horrible. I would never. T Why is I, my man? My my free items have been terrible. <laughs> yeah, we get a recycle. Recycle could be good once this pops. It's not that close, but free gold, I guess. Whatever. Big mushroom. It's not too bad. Uh, Orbital Bomber is good. And Pocket Watch is playable, I guess. Yeah, of course there are a bunch of statues now in this room. Oh, whoops, that hits behind? Wow. Gotta regen a bit. Go, sword, go! Kill them, we kill them all! <laughs> Actually, there's only one guy then. <laughs> Alright, sure. Does this work? Oh, it does. Maybe <laughs> it doesn't do anything because there's war. I just wanted to see if it could climb or not. Whoa, what? Wait, wait. No shot. How does that hit me? The the mob was here, charging this direction, and I was like here, right? You've got to be kidding me. Unless it was the sword guy that hit me and then died. I don't, that's, that's whack. Gotta check the replay on that one. I feel like I got scammed. Fine. I wasn't above 30%, right? Not a big deal. Ooh, I forgot about the second hit on that. Alright, corpse bats are doing some work here. Ooh, I'm dying. If I played the fifth boss as well as I've been playing the fifth boss recently, 
I won't need any revives. But that's a big if. Never know if I'm warmed up correctly or not. Until we get there. Oh shit. Get him, bats. Get him. That is pretty good. Hit invulnerability. That could work pretty well with the extra stun duration that I have. But we'll see. Teleporting here? Yeah. A few more rooms to go here. I will grab the barrier before I leave. Oh, terrible positioning there. Oh, shit. I actually want to take damage almost. I want that thing to proc me up to... To bring me back up to full HP, but I think it'll pop on using fountain, so... Not gonna forcefully do it. I could actually die. Which would be a worse outcome, obviously. Oops. I, honestly, I could... Could do it here, but... I might, I might do it after. Just f run into spikes. Take damage on purpose. Save myself a fountain for after the fifth. Um, uh, I mean this is busted, but yeah. At this point, honestly, whatever. Enemies no longer having hit stun is fine. All right, I will purposefully take damage here, so my zombie activates. Wait, what? Wait, does it only activate in combat rooms? Okay, I guess... Oh no, it is rocking. Okay. I wasn't at 30%. It's almost there, there it is. Oh, it destroys the item, I forgot. So I can't even recycle it. Whatever. So grab barrier. Do I want to grab that statue thing? Oh, I could have done that. That's too late now, I feel like. Well, I could... Ah, damn, I forgot about this. I totally forgot. I could do it and then just grab the fountain and say, screw it. Yeah, I should do it. That's fine. Actually, against the fourth boss, I probably don't even need to heal. I might get a heal here. Okay, we're buying this. I don't think the random is worth... Honestly, I think this item is terrible. <laughs> what did it give me? Like a few max HP? I don't know. I could I could recycle it. Ooh, zero on, vi on visor is really good. Or visor? Wait, how do you pronounce this? Visor? Visor probably. Increase attack speed and move speed. It's not too bad. Probably recycling. I think this is just trash. I should never buy that ever again. Uh, that's not terrible, actually. I'll take that. Alright, I won't greet it. I'll just grab the fountain for it. Alright, here we go. Should be fine.
I kind of fucked up early, but it's fine. I'm in my holy sanctuaries right now. I never know what to time that, actually. Holy Sanctuary. 777, wow. I actually rolled jackpot on that gambling machine. <laughs> Alright, good stuff. Who is gone here? Honestly, Tiny Pond is such trash. I don't know. I feel like it's so terrible. I might get rid of it. I feel like pawns are just generally terrible. Actually, this one's okay. Because it covers a lot of distance, but I really don't value any of the other ones. Eventually I can drop Alarm Clock. Let's drop Tiny Pawn. Like it's the most underwhelming. Ooh, Bloody Bone Fragment is kind of insane, but I don't know if I can get to 200. If I can, it's insane. If I can't, it's useless. I'll just exchange it or something. Uh, yeah, we just reroll that until I find something good and then I'll lock. That is good, I think. Yeah, that's good. I'm still going like kind of SP with the shotgun here. What do we have? Wait, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, crit chance. 35, 35, 35, 35. That's enough, whatever. I have guaranteed crits as well. Gotta keep the max HP because I'm out of revives. Whoops. I'm dying, cool. Early shop is interesting. Another... Okay, at least it's free money. I'll take it. I was gonna say, like, this is getting out of hand. I'm not getting anything that I want. This is fine. Polygon's pretty good. I think wood dressing is pretty insane, actually, so... I'll probably buy it. And I can definitely exchange the bone thing later. Actually, tidy bedding becomes useless against the true final boss, right? I, eh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. No, I guess this would... Get, yeah, I'll exchange this at the last second. Oops. Come on, damn it. What am I doing? I'm kind of lost here. Okay, this is a disaster. Okay, I, got, I got like so lost there. Holy shit, what the hell is happening? Too many undying enemies. Carried that off time. Okay, wait, this is an absolute disaster. I just got overwhelmed. It's, it's all because I got baited into using the greatsword and I thought I was on the greatsword, but I was on the shotgun, so then I just kind of messed with my positioning. I really shouldn't use the greatsword. It's really messing with my game sense. It undying. What a pain. Secret technique is fine. When I swap, I gain attack and attack speed. Wait, I got hit by the second thing. Oh shit! I need to kill this. Whoa! I gotta juke these real quick.
Thank goodness for zombie. I would be dead by now for sure. It's actually... Oh, I know why it's harder. I was like, what? Why is it so hard? It's undying and enemies ignore hit stops and knockbacks. So I have literally no leeway. I'm just getting attacked right away. Whoa, wrong weapon, wrong weapon. And it revived itself. Yeah, it makes things much harder when enemies don't get hit stunned at all. Because you're so used to... You're so used to that mechanic that it just screws with you so hard. Oh, holy shit. Undying? Oh my god. Oh shit. Okay, well... I feel like that was such a good run. Until this floor, until this stage. <laughs> Unfortunate. But it happens. I, I It's so weird because I, I feel like I was playing so well in certain positions. And then I had moments where I was playing like absolutely horribly, right? But it only takes like three times, of, like only three moments where you play terribly. You lose your first revive, you lose your second revive, and you're dead. Uh, I was feeling so good too. Like when I was playing well, I was playing like really well. I feel like, but damn, punishments for sure. Maybe I took too many hard curses. The hit stun curse, the uh, hit stop curse, the undying. The undying is always a pain in the ass for me. Like it's just so hard. I'm still not used to it after all these times taking it. Anyways, hope it, hope it was still enjoyable. I'm, I mean, I'm sure it kind of was. It's just a shame that you guys don't get to see me playing against, like, you know, fifth boss, final boss. Because I was doing pretty well against bosses, I think. So it is a shame. But the normal enemies killed me again. <laughs> all right. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.